guys welcome back to my channel and thank you for stopping by on this video today i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew this beautiful dress you are looking at this keo dress this is what i'm going to be making today so i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew so i'm using this uh, beautiful material here on the table so this material we are going to be using for today's tutorial just two years so guys subscribe to my channel if you are here to and then hit the notification bell down there to get to an update whenever i upload my new videos let's get started i folded my material into four as you can see on the table so this into two and into four and to do this, what you are going to do is to get the back measurement and add your sleeve measurement to it. It works. So this is method I used to cut this uh, dress. My back measurement plus my sleeve measurement. So depending on how longer you want your sleeve to be. So like my back measurement is 50 inches divided into two gives me seven. 0.5 and I added 8 inches. So that shows 8 inches is my sleeve. So at this point, I'm going down 1 inch. So I went down 1 inch for the shoulder slope. And from this slope, I'm going to measure the arm opening. So I chose 8 inches because this is the medium person. So I chose 8 inches for her. And from the shoulder slope again, I'm going to take the measurement of my half length. So this is uh, 15.5. So 15.5 is a half length measurement. So from this point, I'm going to get the hip point. So I went down 8 inches. I went down eight inches, so this is the length of the dress. Okay. So you know I measure seven point five at that point. Okay, this is seven point five, the half of my back measurement. So the remaining one serves as my extended shoulder. So the wideness of my neck I want to use for today's tutorial is three inches. And I'm placing my tape measure to mark 3 inches and I'm marking it. I'm marking 3 inches. So the depth of my neck for the front panel will be 4 inches. You know, I'm cutting both front and back together. So the back depth will be 2 inches. So this is what I'm going to mark and I'm going to connect the two together. Okay, I hope you saw what I did. So this is the uh, front panel and this one is for the back panel. So I'm marking the two together. So I'm marking it together like so. Okay, so I'm placing the quarter of my waist measurement, hip measurement and my bust measurement. So before then, I want to connect and I'm placing my ruler to mark it to the other side. And I'm marking the hip line also. So this is what I'm marking here. I'm marking the hip. I'm going to mark the hip this way. Okay. So I'm going to place the hip measurement on the hip measurement on the hip line sorry and the waist measurement on the waist line so this is just what i'll be doing okay so this is my hip on line and this is the full length so i Added 0 0.5 to it for the allowance, just 0 0.5, like so. 
okay i'm going to place the quarter of my bust measurement right here so i have 33 inches for the bust measurement 29 inches for the waist measurement and 37 inches for the hip measurement so i will go ahead and place the quarter of measurement like so so this is my bust line so i have 8.25 8 one quarter so i've marked it so this style we are showing is not going to have zip so i'm adding two inches for the piece and one inch for sewing allowance making three inches so there's no zip for this or star we are making so i added two inches for his and one inch for sewing allowance and i'm going to do the same thing at the waist area so uh 29 inches is the waist measurement so i'm going to place the quarter of 29 inches and add two inches for his and one inch for the sewing allowance so what I did at the bust line, on the bust line and at the waist line, I'm going to extend it to the hip line. So 9.25 is the quarter of my hip plus 2 inches is and 1 inch for the sewing allowance. I hope you saw what I marked. So here we have 13 inches. At the waist, waist area, we have 13 inches. So I'm deducting one inch here at the lower part, at the full length. So I mark two inches, 12 inches instead of 13 inches. And I'm going to connect from the lower part to the hip, from my hip to my waist and to the bust. So this is what I'm going to do. You know this is our waist line so i have 7.5 for the waist measurement and i had a two inches for his plus one inch sewing allowance so that's our measurement so for this tutorial so we are going to start making the hole on that point so from this line you know, I want to make use of three inches for the hole. You can choose two inches depending on how you want your hole to be. So three, these three inches, I'm going to divide it into two. I'm dividing these three inches into two. So I'm going down 1.5 and I'm marking it. From that waistline, I placed 1.5. So I mark this down. So I'm going up 1.5. You know, I told you I want to use 3 inches. So divided into 2 gives me 1.5. So that shows I will be having 1.5 at the lower part and 1.5 at the upper part of my waist. So I'm, if I measure it now, it will give me, can you see, 3 inches. So it's going to give me 3 inches. This is my three inches. So this is what I've done here. So what next I'm going to do is to is to just or uh, connect the lines together. So the three inches I divided it into two. One point five at the upper part and one point five at the lower part. So depending on how you how wider how or how you want your own to be if you want wide own you could use more than three inches you could use two inches you could use uh, uh more than three inches you know i chose three inches 1.5 at the lower side upper side 1.5 making three inches and i'm going to connect the one two one point five together and at the side i marked one inch so
so this one inch i marked is going to guide me where i'm going to mark at the side but i noticed that i realized that it's too wide for me because i marked one inch at the side if you want to do your own don't just just mark on 0 0.5 or quarter because this is wide a bit it's too wide for me okay just measure 0 0.5 or quarter is good instead of you to mark one inch at that point you know i marked one inch and i noticed that is more than what i need it's more than what i needed to for the hole so i'm collecting the shoulder slope so this is the arm opening you know i measure eight inches down for the arm opening okay so what i'm going to do now is to connect the dots together the side seam together and i'm going to mark it i'm placing my ruler to mark it to my hip please connect it to this place where i'm touching where you measure your 1.5 down and 1.5 up so connect it to that side please don't go to the back of the line don't go to the back of the line so just connect the way i did my phone just like this okay so the marking is going to end at the bust line can you see all right there i'm cutting the hole so this is what i'm doing here make sure you did not bypass the line you made so that it won't be too much for you i mean the hole so this is what i'm doing here so what i'm going to do right here is to just start sewing and stop at the bust line so this is what i'm going to do okay so at the lower part if you want fuller one so i've said this couple of times so if you want a uh, low uh, full fuller one this is what i'm going to do measure two inches uh, six inches or five inches and went up 1.5 or two inches and connect together and collect the lines together that is six inches you measure at the other side and two inches or 1.5 you went up for so connect the two matches the two lines together sorry this way and cut you just cut on that line just cut it so but if you don't want fuller lower part you can leave it this way because i want straight home so can you see the hole so this is what i did so what i'm going to do now is to just start sewing from that edge to this side like i said earlier Make sure you did not bypass uh, the line and the stitching is stopping at that uh, line, that point I'm touching. So the stitching will end at that point. And then I'm going to join the shoulder. I'm going to join the shoulder and the other shoulder. So I'm going to cut facing for both front and back panel neck. 
so this side i'm going to tape it 0 0.5 round from the shoulder to the length both front and back and at the two sides so this is what i'm going to do okay i'm going to do the same thing to the other side so i told you there's a rope i'm going to cut the rope by my waist measurement how do you achieve this just multiply your waist measurement by two and sew it multiply your waist measurement like the waist measurement i'm working with uh, for this tutorial is 29 inches so 29 in two places so this is what i used to cut the rope okay so i'm going to join to that point and the neck also so this is what i'm going to do this is journey section right here so i use my pin to hold the hole down so that it doesn't shift i use my pin to hold it down so whenever you want to sew your hole make sure you hold it down with your pin and do the same thing to the other side you know we have two holes so what you have done at that point make sure you do it here at the other side so this is my shoulder line so I'm going to join the shoulder this way so this is what I want to do I have joined the shoulder okay as I've joined the shoulder right here so I will remove the pin from the both side so this is what I'm doing here. I'm removing the pin. The pin I used to hold it down. Okay. As I've removed it, I'm going to turn this dress inside out. So I've turned it inside out. And I will make sure the two o, the two o's matches each other. I will make sure it matches each other. I hope you saw it. Then I will use my pin to hold it down again and again. So I'm using the pin for it this way. So can you see? So you are going to pipe at that side, like I said before. So just watch the way I did it. So just do it this way and so. And do the same thing to the other side so this is the right side so we are going to take our measurement from the right side because we are sewing on the right part and not on the wrong side of the dress so this is what I'm going to be doing I will mark my bust measurement waist measurement hip measurement and the net so we are almost through that's just it okay I've marked it so this is my your bust line, my waist line, the hip line, and the length of this dress. Okay, so having done this, I'm placing the quarter of my measurement the bust measurement, waist measurement, hip measurement. So the remaining allowance, I'm going to share it to the both sides. So this is what I'm doing. I've done it and I'm connecting the lines together. I hope you saw what I'm doing. 
so i'm collecting together so the stitching is going to end at that point the ham opening okay don't go beyond the line so i told you there's soap we are going to use rope for this dress, so we are attaching the rope as well. Okay, so we are going to machine now and start sewing. Okay guys, this is what I have for the Kyo dress. It's very very lovely. Can you see the two O's at the sides? So it's very very beautiful. I hope you like it. This is very very lovely. So I'm short of fabric. So I could not cut the facing. So I used the remaining material to pipe the neck, both front and back. And this is the back panel and the hole. Oh my God. This is beautiful. This is lovely. I told you we are adding rope and I multiply my waist measurement by two to get this rope. So this is what I did to get it. I have 29 inches for the waist measurement. So I multiplied it by two. So that gives me the rope. And I'm going to rock it this way. So you are going to knot it. You can put it at the right side or the left side. Or you can leave it here at the middle. Here in the middle is good. The right side, the left side. You can rock it the way you want it. The choice is yours. You can knot it this way. The choice is yours. If I had to subscribe to this channel, please subscribe to my channel. Share my videos with your family and friends. Tell them to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the red button down there to get you an update as I will be uploading my new videos. And I will see you on my next tutorial. I love you all. Bye.